So folks, we're in Montrose, Colorado. We've got this Bobcat A300 turbo skid steer. It does have the two-speed transmission. I did get that to engage in that video that we just took while I was driving around. It also has a self-leveling bucket, I believe. I saw that as I was raising the bucket up. It looks like it is a self-leveling bucket on the front of this skid steer. You can also see we've got the auxiliary hydraulics right here. I do not think these are high flow hydraulics. I will verify, but I do not think these are high flow. Overall, just a solid little skidder, 3,200 plus hours on it, guys. It does include the bucket with the skid steer, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Let me measure here so I'm not telling you something that's wrong. Six foot bucket. Six foot bucket on the front. It has a good cutting edge. It is a replaceable cutting edge on that bucket, as you guys can see. Bucket appears to be in good shape. The tires on the skid steer are in very, very good condition. The steering seems to work like it should, guys. The, the transmission seems very solid. The little skidder runs right out. Now, it was about 40 degrees when I started it this morning, guys. I did see a little bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust. I don't know if you could pick that up on the, on the video or not when we were running that. And I had it back here and we were just letting that skidder idle. It smoked a little bit, guys. Again, 3,200 hours is nothing excessive. Everything, to my knowledge, works on this skid steer the way it should. Uh, I'll double check that with the owner to make sure that there's no issues that we know about with this skid steer. If there are, we'll sure put it in the comments. But just a clean, good, all-around skid steer. Now, the only attachment coming with this skid steer is the six-foot bucket. I want to step up into the operating station here and just let you guys kind of look at this. This is the top of the canopy. Looks like it's in good shape. The seat is in good condition. They did just put a new starter on this, guys. Their starter went out of it. And so before we came down here to list it, they did put a new starter. Uh, look at the back of the cab. Again, nothing extraordinary, but it does look like it's in good condition all the way around. I'm going to step down into the operator station here. So we've got a spot for an additional accessory panel that you can see is not connected on this particular model. Um, this is your control panel over here on the left. When I turn the key on over here, you'll see that everything fires up just like it should. It'll count down on the glow plugs for you to start it. But again, everything, everything works like it should. The little green button right here is your unlock. So that whenever you do start the skid steer, there you can see it's showing 3,252 hours. When you do start the skid steer, you can see these lights come on. And you have to push the unlock. This is your, your auto level and it does work. You can see whenever that bucket goes up, that, that auto levels that bucket right out for you. The button for high flow is there, but I don't think this has high flow on it, guys. Again, I'll verify. But I'll raise this bucket up and if you guys watch, You'll see that auto level bucket kick in there. You can see that bucket start, the cylinder start to extend and the auto level kicks in on that bucket as it's going up. And so when you get it up, if you watch, I still have room to roll that bucket back because it was doing the auto level on the way up. So that's, that's a pretty nice feature on this skid steer, guys, is that it does have the auto level. Okay, so a straight little bobcat, we're going to put it up on auction time guys, if you have any questions give me a holler.